So the first thing you want to do is go to your local hardware store and get some 6 inch by 30 inch by 30 gauge vent pipe. And while you're there you're going to need some number 6 by half inch screws. And I also use some 3 quarter inch Baltic birch plywood. So once you get this pipe it's pretty straightforward to put the seam together. Just bring the edges together and push down. And if it happens to go together uneven like this just take it and tap it on a table or on the floor. Next, cut a piece of your plywood that's 10 and a quarter by 7 and a half. Mark the center of the board. This next measurement is kind of important because it causes the trap to tip back and forth. I did a bunch of experiments and I found that the perfect height is an inch and a quarter. Now make a mark 3 inches up from there. Now open up your compass to exactly 3 inches to make a 6 inch circle. At the top, mark it at 1 inch and 2 inch. This will be the carrying handle. And then 1 inch from the ends, make some semicircles. Use a jigsaw to cut out this and this. Now you want to drill a few holes to fit the jigsaw blade through. I've had this Milwaukee for 10 years and it's been great. If you're interested, I'll have it linked in the description. Take the centerpiece you cut out and clean up these edges. It'll create a little space for this piece right here.
Now take a stick and tap it down till it's flush. Grab your screws and a screwdriver bit. I love the screwdriver because all of the bits will fit in my drill. Like I said before, any tools that I use will be linked in the description below. The perfect balance point is 14 inches from the front of the trap. So mark it 3 eighths of an inch after 14 inches and 3 eighths before 14 inches. Mark it at four spots around the pipe and then drill a hole right in the center. Put this seam here at the top and slide it down to your marks. Now use a short stubby screwdriver to put your screws in. And now we'll cut out two equal triangles. Make a mark at 12 and a half inches. Then mark the center at six and a quarter inches. Then take a ruler from the corner and move it back and forth until you get the 12 and a half inches. Now just join the marks on the other side. Measure down from the top seven and three eighths of an inch. Again, take your compass and move it to three inches so that we can draw a six inch circle. For the pivot, measure down two and a half inches. Grab your washer again. Now you just want to replicate another triangle beside it and this time you can flip the board over and put it right beside this one. You can leave a jigsaw blade thickness between these lines. Twelve and a half and six and a quarter. And on this side you want to make a five and a half inch circle. This helps to protect the squirrel when he's inside. So for this circle, spread your compass to two and three quarters of an inch. The door pivot. Next, drill a quarter inch hole through both of them. It's important to drill the hole as straight through the wood as you possibly can. The best is to stack them and clamp them. Have a helper eyeball the drill so it's perfectly straight. And you don't want it in this position, you want it in this position. When I cut this piece, it happened to have a snug fit. If yours happens to be a bit loose, just use a C-clamp to hold it in place. Now just go around and put four, five, or six screws in to hold the metal nice and flat. And when you're finished, the pipe should be just below being flush with the wood so it doesn't interfere with the door. You can get this roll of mesh at the hardware store, but it's a little pricey when you only need about eight inches square of mesh. So I grabbed this draining basket at the dollar store. Make sure you cut it bigger than the circle you've drawn. Now you'll need a quarter inch bolt, two inches long, a couple of washers, and a nylock nut. That little piece of plastic in there keeps the nut in place without loosening off. and then tighten it down just enough so that the door moves nice and freely. And the last thing you'll need is a two inch bracket and a magnet catch. So the squirrel will enter, it'll pass the midpoint, and then its own body weight will cause it to tip at the back and close the door. And then at the other end, its body weight will keep the door closed along with the magnet. And the last thing is to find a small box to put over the end of the pipe so that they don't climb on it and trip the door closed. And make sure to place it in a shady area. And to bait it, use sunflower seeds and make a small trail which leads to a little pile in the back. And then put some right out front, right in front of the door. Thank you. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notifications, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.